Well, three members on the Delano School Board are at the end of their terms and looking to keep their seats. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa reports that teachers are demanding new leadership. With elections just one day away, teachers here in Delano are hoping to make one last plea for change. Angry teachers filled the Delano Union School District boardroom with a long list of complaints. Teachers do need some clarification on roles and responsibility of management. Something must be done. We must find a way, any way, to draw more substitute teachers to our district. Educators are upset over lack of communication between the board and the community, administrative changes impacting support staff, and the hire of the new superintendent, Dr. Anthony Monreal. You are supportive of giving a 19% raise to the superintendent and a 10% raise to the assistant superintendent curriculum, but not pay substitutes to work past a certain number of hours just so you can save money. Many teachers say the board's lack of action is sending a wrong message to the community. But in the eyes of the teachers, you're incompetent. Teachers have asked the board numerous times for an intervention on disciplining students who have assaulted staff and even harassing fellow students, but they say no action has been taken. You have made many mistakes and you have created a culture of distrust, confusion, low morale and hostility. Board member Frank Herrera said district staff put together a report to address all issues and says the document should be made available to the public. I hope that uh, the issues, the new issues that were brought up uh, are addressed, but it's also time to address the old issues that have been brought up over the past two months. Three of the school board members are incumbents and hope to be re-elected tomorrow. In Delano, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC. And some board members told teachers tonight they have also been accessible and are working to address all the issues.